On a typical Monday morning, the premises of the Lagos High Court Ikeja would be bubbling with activities. But the need to stop the spread of the COVID-19 pandemic forced the judiciary across the country to suspend all court sittings. And the result? Empty courtrooms and an almost comatose justice system, except for urgent and time-bound matters. But the pandemic has not stopped conflicts and breach of fundamental rights. And so, to ensure continuity of court business, the Lagos State Judiciary, led by the Chief Judge, Justice Kazim Alugba, held its first virtual court hearing. Via a video app, Zoom, the CJA judges of the court, members of the state's Ministry of Justice, led by the Attorney General and Minister of Justice, some senior lawyers and many others, participated in the online session from different locations. The trial judge, Justice Mojisola Dada, sitting in her courtroom, delivered a judgment that lasted almost three hours. In the criminal trial of Olale Kwamed, a driver who was charged by the state for stealing and for the murder of 76-year-old Jolason Kusoya, the mother of his employer. The defendant and other prison officials participated in the virtual proceedings from the Ikoi Correctional Service Center where the defendant is being remanded. In her judgment, Justice Ada held that the defendant did not disprove the testimony of the prosecution witnesses that he was the only one with the disease at the time of her death. The defendant also did not contradict the testimony that he was seen scaling the fence of the disease shortly after the incident. And in the end, the court found him guilty and sentenced him to death by hanging. You could see from the proceedings that certain things are essential to make it a success. Power supply. You will imagine what will have happened if there was power failure. So that underscores the necessity for constant power supply. And you know the state of power supply in this country. Secondly, connectivity. All this we are working on. And um, uh, judges who will be sitting virtually will be provided with all this backup to ensure that the proceedings are seamless. So we're, we're partners, you know, we're fully on board with the judiciary to make um, today's virtual seating a reality. Um, we've been in discussions with them, we've encouraged them, we've supported them in every possible way that we can uh, because we feel that um, we're in a new normal Situation. The Chief Judge and the Attorney General say that virtual proceedings are here to stay and they're encouraging all members of the legal community, litigants and indeed all stakeholders to partner with them to ensure that justice works for all. Shola Shieli, Channels Television News.